Last time on Beyond the Pump. To tear this down and rebuild the new, you'd be looking at maybe $200,000, $250,000. Okay. 250,000 pesos? Are we talking dollars? Oh, that's what's up, what's up? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, she comes back from skiing and now all of a sudden she's ready to get back into prep mode. I think he pulled the muscle. This game sucks. <laughs> I'm Honey Rambod, and after 30 years in the fitness industry, coaching 20 Olympia titles, and even becoming the CEO of my own nutrition company, I've made a lot of tough decisions, but this one is the toughest by far that I've ever made. Pack your stuff, because we're moving to Texas. What's up, ladies? Hello. Are you guys doing world domination here or what? <laughs> Working Make on it. Make sure you have sell. Okay, ABC, <laughs> always be closing. <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing? Good morning. How's it going? You good? Hey, what's up, bro? How are you? Not much. How's it going? Good, good. How's your morning? Oh, it's great so far. How's the weekend? It was good, man. It was a uh, two for one Valentine's Day and Super Bowl weekend. Yeah. Did you do anything? Did you get to watch the game? Uh, no, Super Bowl. I actually didn't have access to it, so I did not. I was keeping I was keeping an eye on it on Google here and there, and then to kind of do a recap of the commercials afterwards. Wait a minute. Uh, you drive a Tesla, yes, and then you don't have NBC <laughs> to watch. Nobody I'm, streams TV anymore. Hey, man. Netflix. I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. How was Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day was awesome. Yeah. Wifey ended up setting us up at a steakhouse in South Lake. It was great. Um, food was absolutely amazing. Which steakhouse? Uh, Kirby's. Kirby's. So yeah, it was. I don't even think I've been to Kirby's. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. It was really good. The quality of meat was awesome. The food was awesome. The service was great. Awesome. But I uh, can't wait. There's uh, so many more steakhouses here yeah. in Texas. I can't wait to do that. Yeah. But I do want to talk to you about Valentine's Day, because we got to figure out something about. Nick. Not only is Nick my vice president at Evagen, but he's also one of my best friends. We gotta figure a solution because at the end of the day, we're here to great balance. We need to find an outlet, like somewhere where he can meet people. Like, I don't Talking know. Talking about for dates? Yeah, like, I mean, you know, back in the day, man, we had the AOL chat rooms, we had all that stuff. <laughs> Somebody pop up on your pager. <laughs> yeah, that way. yeah, it was definitely a major <laughs> thing, you know, but I mean, where does everybody go for that right now? Like I mean, apps like Hinge, Bumble, Tinder, things like that. Do yeah, you want to make him a Tinder profile? And only a best friend would create a Tinder profile without telling him. Dude, I don't know. I mean, ChristianMingles.com. <laughs> I don't know what we need to do, but something where we can be able to try to hook him up and have some fun. Just meet some friends, somebody, you know, he's new to the area. We definitely gotta do something. I know Tinder is kind of like supposed to be low hanging fruit, right? <laughs> like, for lack of a better word, it's low hanging fruit. Yes. Okay, yeah, it's like people that are yeah. more likely to want to go out. <laughs> so, um, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that what we do is we set up a Tinder profile for him, <laughs> okay? And then what we can do is put a really cool picture, couple of pictures in there. I mean, dude, you're good at Photoshop. Throw something together. Austin is great at social media, so who better to create a Tinder profile? We're gonna Photoshop his photos, touch well, him up a little bit. Touch him up a little yeah. bit, put some, you know, make him look good. Yeah. And then um, I think we should just put something together for him. I'll be honest with you, I really think, um, I don't know, he might get Are pissed. we gonna let him know about this? Eventually, but let's just put something don't together. Don't let him know until the date. No. <laughs> no, no I, I don't know about that, but let's just figure it out. No, seriously, what we should right, do is right. just put something together. Okay. And then let me see what you come up with. Okay. You know, use those Photoshop skills that you have. How are we going to get the photos? Are we going to tell them we're doing company headshots or something like that? And then. That's actually a great idea. Yeah. That's a right. great idea. Right. Let's do company headshots. Okay. We got to do it for the new org chart. Okay. We got everybody here right now. Let's go ahead and start doing those things. Figure out what we need to do. Okay. Grab the photography equipment, take okay. some photos, and just let them know that we're going to turn around and do that. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use those, and maybe you can embellish a little bit. Right, by a long walk. Yeah, no, beach. don't catfish anybody. Right. You don't say that he's 25, <laughs> but at the end of the day, put something together, right. make it look good, All right. run it by me, let's put it together, and nobody else can know about this. So okay. let's put this thing together, and then at that point, then we'll see what we'll do with it.
Sounds great. All right, Let's get him a date. All right. Sounds good. Let me know. Yes, sir. So does that make him the Tinder swindler or me? Whether you're brand new to a gym or you're an experienced athlete, it's all about the right program for you. There's a lot of programs out there and it's always really tough to know where to start. In modern bodybuilding, there's three main approaches. There's the, I'm gonna learn every single detail approach. There's the, I'm gonna turn around and really try to fuck shit up and lift as much as I can approach. And then there's the combination of, let me try to make sure I get stimulation without complete and total annihilation. So in the beginning of every person's bodybuilding journey, they tend to go from one extreme to another. As you become more seasoned or you find a good coach, you'll realize that the balance is always in the middle. The best approach is the one of neither extreme. The best approach is the one with balance. You wanna balance the reps, the sets, the weight. It's all about time under tension. That's what's gonna get you to grow. And in bodybuilding, to try to create the maximum illusion, it's all about maximizing blood flow. Like an old man trying to get a workout in. Whew. People ask me all the time, what's more important, the amount of weight, the intensity, or the form? It's honestly all of the above. You have to balance out all three. I came up with FSC7 training because I felt that there was a need for intensity through remote training. Many people think that intensity is just picking up large amounts of weights and just screaming. It doesn't work just like that. It's a matter of controlling that weight, especially when you're really trying to be able to take your body to a whole nother level. These athletes were training really intensely while I was with them for the one or two hours every day. But then when I would fly back home, I realized that the intensity would drop off. So to be able to emulate that, what I did was created a training system that would maximize the intensity even when I wasn't there. What's going to get you that 3D look, that rounder, fuller muscle belly, is going to be intensity. It's about how you increase intensity. And that's why I created FST7. Oh man, I felt heavy. Because what I did was create rules to increase intensity and ways to increase intensity with the short rest periods, but also adding in partial reps, forced reps, and negatives. Neil Hill calls himself Yoda. It's because Neil Hill looks like Yoda. That makes me more look like baby Yoda. <laughs> I love you, Neil. <laughs> At 47 years old, I'm finding that I have to reinvent myself with my own training, my own diet, and my own balanced daily program. FSC7 was a perfect fit because I can focus on blood flow, the pump, and really trying to get those muscles to reactivate. So FSD7 was gonna be the base of my program. The dieting is going to be a bodybuilder diet and the consistency is going to have to be like I'm 25 again. Five to six days a week in the gym with cardio and weights. The hardest thing about getting back in shape for me is that I've always kept myself at the lowest priority. I've always tried to work on my athletes, my company, my family, all of those other things superseded my personal fitness because it was never a priority when I would stopped competing. Ultimately, for all those things to keep going, I have to be able to get my body, my mind, and my heart healthy again. I haven't been to my own personal peak levels for over 25 years, so it makes it extremely difficult to even fathom trying to get back to that place. I, I, I don't want to sound arrogant, but when you have a sense of knowledge and understanding, you always know that eventually you can get it done. But just because you know you're gonna get it done doesn't mean you're going to. That's a huge difference. Because you're always like, I know I can do it. I can know I can do it. But you're like, oh, I can do it at 20, uh, 30. Then I can do it at 35. Then I can do it at 40. Then I can do it at 45. Well, I'm gonna wait till I'm 50. Well, now all of a sudden, it's gonna be harder and harder to do. It's gonna get to a point where 
you might not be able to do it anymore because of all the aches and pains and a lot of those injuries that you had back in your early 1920s. I'm sorry, when you're, <laughs> when you're in your 90s, I was gonna say in your early, your teens and your 20s. But at the end of the day, what you find is you find excuses and you find reasons on why not to do things. To be able to get to the ultimate result, you have to have a game plan. How do you build a game plan? A proper game plan includes your diet, your training, your cardio, and your recovery. My personal program at this point is waking up fasted cardio four days a week at 30 minutes. It's training five days a week with a split with a major and minor body part, and it's making sure that I'm eating at least four whole meals a day and maybe one shake. What am I gonna to do to increase my recovery? I'm gonna be able to go out and get a massage at least once a week. I'm gonna to go to regular chiropractic visits. I get a really good discount because my wife happens to be a chiropractor. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to stretch and use the foam roller on a regular basis. I never did that in the past, but I'm gonna be doing that to be able to make sure I maintain consistent recovery. In many ways, people tend to overcomplicate things. You could be a YouTuber, it won't be a great enough camera. You wanna be a race car driver and you don't have the right car. You could be a runner, but you might not have the right shoes. At the end of the day, the world is full of excuses. At this point, there are none left for me. Therefore, it's time to go. Hani already told him we're updating the orb chart, so I don't think he's gonna suspect anything. I was tasked up by Hani to go ahead and get some company headshots, uh, which is also known as updated photos for Nick's Tinder profile. What's going on? What's up, brother? How you doing? Good. How's the work day going? Busy day? It's going. Did Hani give you a heads up that we're gonna take some photos so we can update the orb chart? Yeah, I mean, if we make it quick, yeah. I just, I mean, shit, we just took these things. I already got everything all set up over there, so if you down to just pop over there really quick, we can grab them right now. Okay, perfect. Yep. Oh, man. And though I've made a few Tinder profiles in my day, uh, I've never had to make one for somebody who's a few years my senior. So I say, use a senior picture instead. <laughs> and nothing's changed since. Nothing's changed. All right. <laughs> a smile. There we go. The serious. Stone cold. Yeah. Mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the yeah, the image of the mugshot there. Alright, back to a smile. Blue steel. Blue steel. Smolder. Go for the smolder. <laughs> Slight angle, smolder over to the side. It's like a, you just saw a box of kittens. Hit that one. What's that face look like? A box of kittens. A box of kittens, yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just wanted to see, what, like, like, just wanted to see what his reaction would be. I just wanted to see what your reaction would be if I said that. There we go. It's whatever you naturally would do yeah. in that situation. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a box of kittens. Meow. <laughs> right, box of kittens. Box of kittens just got run over. Oh. <laughs> Here. I think we've got what we need. All right. Perfect. I mean, is everybody doing this shit, man? Because we just, we just we literally just took these things, man, right before we came out here. Uh, I think because we got some, some new members of the team, we're just trying to have all of them look cohesive and get all the same ones. So that's why we're going ahead and redoing them now. So, whether this turns out really good or really bad, it's going to be really awesome to watch. All right, man. Cool. We're good to go. Yep, we're yep, all done. Yep. All Thank right. you. Appreciate right. it. Thank you, bud. Next on Beyond the Pump. All right, guys, we just got here to the Arnold Classic of Columbus, Ohio. I haven't been here in four or five years. Here to be able to support our athlete, Evogen Elite athlete, Dr. Sonny Andrews. So do you take breaks? Do you guys go on vacation? Do you guys do things to be able to kind of break it up a little bit to try to find balance? Are you like we were gonna go come to surprise you. It's a surprise, but <laughs> Alexa? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go see you later.
Oh, no, we were in India three years ago. Right? Was it three years? Three years. Three years. Yeah, three years right. before the pandemic. That was, a t that was the time I, I touched your face by accident and you got mad at me. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I was like, man, why are you touching my face? Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro, good to see you, man. How's everything? Good, good. How's yeah, man.